beautiful people. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you real quick. I just wanted to drop in real quick and just show you guys how I um, pineapple my 4C hair. Um, I know all of you have heard of the pineapple with people who have the wavy loose pattern hair and they pineapple it all the way up on the top of their heads with a scarf or whatever and then the next day they get up and they take it out and they you know shake it down and it comes back down well n no that doesn't work for moi okay I have 4C hair to the hundredth power so if I was to do that when I wake up the next day and take it my scarf or whatever off my hair would just be standing straight up on my head and I would spend a good minute you know trying to pull it back down so I had a really really nice braid out today flat twist um, flat twist twist out today and it was like the definition was just like I mean seriously popping and so I don't feel a need to retwist my hair tonight so this is what I'll do I take my little scrunchies my little girl scrunchies and I just take um, separate sections of my hair and the way I want my hair to fall tomorrow when I take these out which I want my hair to fall towards my face that's the way I will band it. I will scrunch it up one here towards my face because this is the way I want my hair to fall tomorrow. And then these two sides. And then the crown is where I have the shortest and the most problems with. And I kind of like that raised up. So I put that in the top. And then I have like three separate ones. Two on the ends and one in the middle so that when I get up tomorrow and I want to go somewhere or whatever even if I don't go anywhere and I want to take my hair out and wear it in a loose um, twist out like I did today I just had a little um, headband around it you know and it looks so nice but I just wanted to come on and let you guys see you know this is how I me moi <laughs> will pineapple my hair and it's worked every time and I started doing this like three three years ago you know because the way they were doing you know that loose pattern you know wavy hair not saying anything wrong with it I'm just saying that doesn't work on my 4C hair but I will catch up with you guys later on I got a lot to tell you a lot to talk about some good some not so good but um, I was pretty much in my feelings on the last vlog, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I had therapy today, so that really, really helped. You kind of like purge everything out, you know, so <sighs> Woosa. you feel good again, you know, so anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a wonderful week. Bye. Good afternoon, my beautiful people. I'm coming back to show you guys how I um, pineapple my hair at night and how I take it out the next day um, it's real jinky out today I have no plans of going anywhere but I still want my hair to look cute you know so um, I usually sleep in my large bonnet like this okay this is my larger one I have about three of them and then I just loosen my my curls without trying to mess up the the definition of my curls and then I just start to from the back I start to um, remove the the scrunchies that I told you guys that I that I use um, like this you guys forgive my fingernails when I get nervous and in my feelings I I uh, will chip my fingernail polish away on my nails for some reason uh, don't ask me why but just forgive me right now I haven't been able to I haven't had a chance to repolish my my nails so um, you guys still even with these being little girl scrunchies you still need to be you know gentle with your hair because our 4C hair is so fragile even something soft like you know these little scrunchies can really uh, pull out of a nice big chunk of your of your hair you know mine anyway because 
like I said, 4C to the hundredth power. But um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, an update on the weight loss. You remember I was telling you I was trying to drink the vinegar and the lemon juice and the first week I lost six and a half pounds. And the second week I stopped because the vinegar was making me feel really, really loopy in the head and I was experiencing a uh, nauseous or nausea after I ate and I also told you that you know I didn't feel like I was losing any weight last week and I really didn't there was no difference in the feel of my clothes and you know you can feel it you know you feel less bloated and um, so anyway yesterday was Monday today's Tuesday so I weighed myself yesterday and not only did I not lose any weight, but I actually gained a pound, which I thought, hmm, you know, so it is the vinegar that makes you, I don't know which side I want this to fall. I forgot which side I put it on. But, um, so I'm convinced that it is the vinegar, um, cocktail that makes you lose the weight because I intermittent fasted all last week as well. And I still ended up gaining a pound, you know, so, and I know I said the vin the vinegar is out, I'm not going to drink it anymore, but as God would have it, never say never, because I lied, because I already drank my cocktail this morning, because I am so desperate to lose weight, you know, I have my, um, family reunion coming up this year in Wilmington, North Carolina, and if anybody knows about the Carolinas, Wilmington Beach is just absolutely gorgeous, and uh, I love it down there, and I want to enjoy myself and not feel like, you know, I have to be subconscious about myself and my weight and all that other kind of stuff, so... I mean, I'm not trying to get no bone skinny, you know, young, <laughs> young skinny. I'm just trying to get comfortable, you know, in my clothes. I have closets full of clothes that I literally cannot wear because of my weight gain. Excuse me for a minute, y'all. Let me put my head in on. Okay. And <laughs> there's my phone right on time. So yeah, um, this side is so much shorter, I don't know why, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I'm trying to get that weight off me, so I'm thinking maybe, and y'all know, I'm reaching, I don't care, I'm reaching, I'm thinking now maybe I just didn't give myself enough time, you know, to, for my body to get used to it. Excuse me, I'm drinking my coffee out of my favorite Snoopy mug. Love this mug. <laughs> I have to protect it because every time my older sister comes over, she tries to steal it from me. But, um, <coughs> I'm drinking the cocktail again. Uh, this time, what I did was I added more lemon juice, and it actually was not as bad to drink it. Of course, you guys everybody should know that you shouldn't be drinking vinegar straight up you should be mixing it with something and you also should be drinking it you know through a straw because of the acidity in the vinegar it could actually you know deteriorate your porcelain of your the enamel of your teeth so <clears throat> you just want to keep that in mind excuse me um, you want to keep that in mind but when you when you do drink it but I'm going to try it again because I just can't give up that easily um, I'm weary <laughs> I am just I want to lose weight and after losing six and a half pounds in that first week by drinking that vinegar just once a day in the morning on an empty stomach and then flushing it with lots of water or, you know, later on having your coffee or whatever, you know. Dropping six and a half pounds in one week was like, you know, mind-blowing to me. 
and I keep pulling up the research on YouTube after YouTuber after YouTuber and when when I hear people say you know yeah basically they lost seven pounds a week 14 pounds in the first two weeks 21 pounds in three weeks and I'm just sitting here going whoa <laughs> you know mind-blowing and I'm desperate because I I've lost weight before I don't know if I remember ever telling y'all that I did lose 55 pounds in eight months in 2007, but I did it the wrong way. I literally starved myself. I ate one meal a day, and most of the time I drank high sugar, high fat um, cappuccinos from the store, not even made at home. I went to my little local gas station where they had the little cappuccino machine in there and I would get me a 16 ounce cappuccino in the morning and then usually before at night and I really think that that's what brought my diabetes on because of course as long as I kept my weight down I was alright but as soon as I wasn't able to walk and do the things that I had been used to doing, that's when the weight started coming back. Of course, you know, also returning to normal eating, you know, but um, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that it took me eight months and I lost 55 pounds. I looked fantastic. I felt awesome. And the one thing I didn't realize, because it had taken me so long, to just lose weight, enough weight anyway, um, that I felt like nobody told me. I thought losing weight was the hardest part, but nobody told me keeping it off was even harder, you know? So I had to, as, like everything else, I had to learn that on my own because I was trying everything. I saw the weight slowly, progressively coming back on and I was trying to stop it and I couldn't. I don't know why. I just couldn't. But now that it's returned, I've got closets full of clothes in like, I think three different sizes. So I want to say small, medium, large without divulging my actual weight because transparency or not, y'all don't need to know that exact number. It's just too embarrassing. Sorry. But anyway, without um, divulging any any main information, I've got three different size clothes, including that, um, that jean jacket behind me, you know, and I want to get back down into my smallest clothes because that's where I was the most comfortable. But, you know, still not teeny bopper. I'm too old to be trying to, you know, be a teeny bopper. I just want to be comfortable in my skin. Is that asking too much? <sighs> I'm take a sip of my coffee. Mm. Mm. It's not even hot anymore, but I don't care. But, yeah. So, that's the update on that. And I am going to continue trying to, you know, prayerfully, if God's will, <laughs> try to continue drinking this vinegar for at least one month just to see, you know, the progress. And if it doesn't bother me anymore, I might do it even further than that. But I would like to at least try it for a month, you know, and see what the progress is and see how I do and continue trying to eat right and you know um, do my little walking I just don't know what's wrong with me ever since I lost ever since my selfie stick broke I just keep forgetting to film certain things and I just went grocery shopping yesterday and I spent like a hundred and almost a hundred forty dollars on groceries and I forgot to to film it and I like to haul. I would have loved to have shown you guys the stuff that I, you know, buy. Like, the, um, I try to buy frozen veggies if we have room enough in the freezer. Because, like I told you guys, I live with my sister, my younger sister. And we share a refrigerator and a freezer. So, um, it's kind of, you know, kind of sketchy sometimes for me to be able to fit all my stuff in as well as she fitting her stuff in. 
so um i was able to buy like frozen broccoli florets and um brussels sprouts and then i bought fresh the big bag of kale and you know I don't know what was going on at Walmart yesterday, but the one that I went to, they were just out of everything. No sweet potatoes, no white potatoes, no tomatoes. It was just crazy. I was like, what in the world? And it's it was a Monday, so, you know, but I got to do what I do when I can because I don't have transportation. So I did this right after I left therapy because it was right on my way home. So I was, and I didn't even have my grocery list on me, but, and needless to say, I still spent $140, but, um, I just missed out on filming it. I didn't even think about it until I got home. And then after I took it all out and set it all up, I still, because I guess I was watching YouTube while I was doing it, I still forgot to, you know, show you guys, because I could have just showed you all the stuff that I um, bought, you know. Um, once I unpacked it all but anyway um, I'm hoping to get a new selfie stick soon I don't know you know God works God writes my script so I don't know what's gonna happen from one day to the other but as for right now I am back on the vinegar please forgive me I don't I know better at this age than to say never you know but I'm, like I said, I'm not too proud to admit I am desperate to lose weight and intermittent fasting should have had some results so I have to really dig deep and find out what I'm eating and you know, I, I know I'm not eating the way I should be eating, you know, but dang it y'all, life is just already complicated enough now you want to take away the food you know I mean what's left after that so I gotta do better and I know that I'm, I'm making excuses again and I promise I am going to do better but I just want to quickly say so instead of losing any weight at all last week without the vinegar cocktail I actually gained one pound so I didn't think that was too bad, but I urgently, urgently returned to drinking the vinegar. Not yesterday, but I started today. I just let yesterday be a free day, and I just basically ate whatever I wanted and how much ever I wanted, and knowing that today I was going to get up and start all over again. Get a do-over, <laughs> you know? But um, you guys hang in there. I'll talk to you later on this week, and I'll give you the full update of what's going on. Um, I think I told you I changed my, my posting dates from Tuesdays to Wednesdays. So that gives me time to get a little bit more material and take more pictures of my meal prepping and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Bye.